goodies welcome back to your channel and to my kitchen how to cook and I'm here with a requested recipe it's gonna be fast it's gonna be easy and it's gonna be simple I am making your requested seafood boil I have one up earlier but we're gonna make this with a little bit of different twist I'm gonna take away I'm gonna subtract I'm gonna multiply so if you're here watching me cooking for your very first time and you're not already subscribed we are way apart. Go ahead and do so and then turn on the post notification settings to be reminded every time your girl uploads what? A brand new video. Let's jump right into it. In my eyes of a star girl. She fit me. And she give me love plenty. She authentic. Okay, so now let me walk you through some of the things. Well, all of the things I'm going to put in a seafood boil here. Yeah. Now, I have my king crab here, wild king crab. And I bought this at Sam's Club. Okay, this is where I bought these. And I paid $36.47 for this pack. And then I paid $35.72 for this one right here. So that is what it looks like. In the pack, but guess what? Three, what? Three king crab legs here, a little brata right there, so, and the same thing here with another little brata right there, so. So, overall, it was, this was close to about 80 bucks, right? Yep, but. Okay. As you can see, my dog now allow me to do my thing. I have to do a voiceover with that door opening and closing. Now go work. So let's just do it this way. Now I have some tiger shrimp right here, and then I have some parsley and some cilantro. Then I have some corns here too, and then the the sausage that I'm using right here is um beef sausages those are beef sausages and those are mild sausage because I'm mean, gonna like pepper so but those are mild um and them taste really really well I bought these at the farmers market my tiger shrimp I love this tiger shrimp you could find these in all the supermarket so that's what I have during the platter now this right here I can't remember what's happened by that you know but anyway let me talk about the other shrimp this shrimp right here I'm gonna buy this inside of Sam's Club as well them jumbo shrimp I think that was about $14.99 I had a lot of shrimp came in that thing I'm going to be substituting this time for the Malta the one that I did before I used the Jamaican Heineken and the Malta turn up load when you use it in your seafood boil when you have boil your potatoes and your, uh, your seed then I'm going to go in with some large eggs I'm gonna use the entire egg because I love eggs in my seafood ball I don't know if you love eggs in your seafood ball but anytime I have seafood ball I'm gonna love if I want two egg in it and this is a potato of choice I love these potatoes as well in seafood balls but they can't use anything where you want just to make your one can make it even smaller to them have smaller one but I don't want them like pull me up real fast and yeah this works I think I have probably about eight or something now this the muscle of choice this is a New Zealand green shell mussel I'm thinking I bought it in Aldi's as well I am not a hundred percent sure I might have bought it in Walmart but I'm, I'm aiming for Aldi's right and these are uncooked mussel so you have to cook them you have to make sure you wash them and that is a two pound pack and um, I'm using fresh um, fresh parsley and cilantro but I'm also going to use some dried one as well to the recipe now that is what I'm going to show you thus far and as I go along with the rest of the recipe we'll go along and just check out the other ingredients as we go along the recipe right now I'm using my extreme big pot for this thing because I'm warm to say I have room and may I cook all of my things them right now the first thing I do is give the seafood a really good rinse it comes in the package it looks nice and clean but 
I always give it a good rinse just to make sure that there's no hidden suspects hiding from that thing. You want to give it a good rinse because you're, remember you're cooking it with the potatoes and the corn and all that stuff. So give it a good rinse because there might be little hidden stuff on there and dirt and everything there. So let's wash it off. Remember also that the, the meat inside that shell comes already cooked so you don't want to overcook it as well. It is cooked in there y'all. It is cooked in there. And you just want to rinse it nice and clean and just basically set it aside. All right. That looks good. That looks perfect. Nice and clean. Just set it aside and then we're going to wash the muscles. Now to wash the muscles is basically the same thing. Now my muscles are uncooked muscles. Uncooked. Now you want to check it because sometimes you there might be a bad one in there. So you want to go ahead and discard of that bad one. Now, after you check it to make sure everything is in good condition, mm -hmm, let me check right this out. You are going to make sure that there's no seaweeds and all that stuff, just like I'm finding right here. My seaweed in it, so you're going ahead and discard that and check it. You want to give this a good rinse under cold running water only. Only do not use warm water to wash it. Cold running water only. I did not have any salt to wash it. I did not have any vinegar to wash it. All I used was just cold running water and give them a good rinse and discard that water. And it was good to go. Good to go. That's all you need. You can give it a second rinse if you want, but I just gave it a nice good rinse one time and I was good to go right perfect 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 so you just go ahead and just sit that to the side now moving right along it's time to combine everything together now this is the seasoning that I'm using I'm using all-purpose seasoning and you could substitute that one I'm not really a fan of that seasoning but for some reason that's what I'm draw for right now now to that and I did have a lot of it I did had some salt to it right that season the reason why I don't like it is because it has a lot of salt so I didn't use a lot of it I just use a pinch of salt to that as well because you want the seafood to have flavor and the girl is always cooking with her vinegar so I did add some apple cider vinegar into that water and then I went in for my Malta and I substituted um, the Malta, instead of using the Heineken that I always put into my seafood boils, I use Malta in it and the thing turn up low. Nice, 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 nice. So all you need is just a bottle, that's it. Now to that, I also went in and I added my fresh veggies, which is my cilantro. Right, just go and throw it in there because of the flavor we need, and then I added some fresh parsley to it as well, and just throw that in it, just like that. That's all I need. I don't need a whole heap, but like, yeah, just that was good enough. Now I am though going to use whole um garlic. I'm not going to use the minced garlic. I'm not going to use the old cloves, but that's going to clean them up nice and just put them in at the pot. Just like so, right? Now, Giddy, while you're still here watching me cooking, make sure that your notifications are set to on and make sure that you are, in fact, checking out your giveaways. When your notifications are on, you will know when I upload brand new videos. And if you are the first, second, or third person to say um, that you are commenting, then you will be the lucky winner of my private giveaway. Private giveaway meaning you will get a surprise. Right? A surprise will be coming in the mail. Go over to Instagram, leave your address there, and boom, 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 you will get something in the mail from your girl. So congratulations to all the winners thus far. Yeah, big up, big up yourself straight. More is coming. I went ahead and dropped those um garlic into the mix. Yep. 
just like so and the thing was already smelling so good so good so good then I went in and added my um, potatoes and you could substitute for whatever kind of potato you like or size that you like but that's what I chose to put in my seafood bowl then I added the corn to it right there And then um, I'm going to add my seafood to it. And if I was using snow crabs, I would have done the same method as well. But this pot, this big pot worked just fine. The pot really big, yes. It, 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 it works. It really works. So I recommend that you guys go out and grab yourself one. I did buy this one in Macy's. Um, on sale of course but yeah that looks pretty good I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of the seafood into my seafood boil platter like so and all the amount of the recipe will be listed down in the description box as well as how long you have to cook it and them thing there right so check that out clean up clean up because everything must be clean in my clean clean kitchen when I cook right now that is what it looks like thus far and I'm going to allow it to cook once that potato is cooked in bottom everything is done because remember once again your seafood has already come to cook in the shell you just give it a flavor flavor that's it. cover it up nice and tight and allow the potatoes to cook yeah easy right now I did go in and add a little bit of the obe season on top yeah I did add some obe season oh, yeah I wanted to add that and yeah that was it cover it up and that was it right never put nothing else because I don't want to over season it no perfect Now my eggs are being boiled and I'm using 12 eggs. So while I have my eggs going and the big patagon, it's time to cook these shrimp and mussels and all that stuff. Now what I did to get started was add one stick of butter to the mix. Then I added about three tablespoons of chopped garlic and two tablespoons of green seasoning and the green seasoning that I'm using is the one that I made at home I will list that um, that recipe down in my description box so check that out it's there then I added my tiger shrimp guys I have to tell you I am using two different kind of shrimp for this seafood boil but those shrimps are only going to be cooked for six minutes now you want to season it up so i'm gonna add some onion powder because i already added fresh garlic to it then i added some old bay seasoning and you could use any kind of seasoning where you want to use if you don't want to go to root here right then i added some parsley dried parsley like that mm -hmm. and then i added some paprika the paprika is going to give it that nice little color and it does have flavor right give it a good mix let it cook for six minutes and your shrimp your tiger shrimp will be done six minutes that's all it takes the, the other shrimp that I'm making is not as big as a tiger shrimp but it does take six minutes as well we're gonna go ahead and we are going to remove it from the pot like so and all that good stuff in that bottom of that pot the thing smells so good so good man so 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 good I'm mad play by that other thing that that green season ain't no joke and again the recipe will be listed down below for your green season so check it out now, in order to get, I went back and added a half stick of butter, that is four tablespoons of unsalted butter I'm using, the only unsalted butter I'm using here, and then I went in and added the shrimp, the second batch of shrimp to the mix. Added some onion powder and added the parsley to it, dried parsley, paprika for color and flavor, like so.
Then I added again the Obey season. So basically, me I put the same season when I put on the first batch, right? Give it a good toss for six minutes, just like that. Toss it around and let everything cook evenly, like so. And after six minutes, we are all done here. Now moving along, I went back into the same good up, good up, good up, good up favorite pot and added one stick of butter. Another two tablespoons of garlic. So I added another two tablespoons of the green seasoning. Again, we are talking flavor upon top of flavor. Now, after that, I added the mussels. But when you add your mussels into that good flavored sauce, you want to go put it in down, facing down. Meat facing down, shell facing up. So that way, when that cooks for six minutes, because you only want to cook it for six minutes only, just like you're doing shrimp. All the flavor is soaked up into the muscle downward, right? After six minutes, you want to start turning it, rotating it back and forth with that good juices. Oh, and flavor is to the core. Mad flavor. It has the flavor from the shrimp. And I'm telling you, this thing is so, 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 so delicious. Now I'm going in, I'm putting the whole base seasoning to it and the onion powder. You want to season it up the same way you season the shrimp before the paprika and all that good jazz, the parsley, and just go back in and give it a nice little stir. Six minutes of cooking and the thing is done. I did make a quite a big batch of the mussel because a box all a lot you know as simple as that box looked it did have quite a bit of the mussel in it so I did um, separate it in two so that way my mussels would cook with space and room to breathe and flavor galore. So I'm going to just go back and show you again how to cook the mussels. All right. Meat facing down, shell facing up in all that good juices. Allow it to, to cook for six minutes. After six minutes, start spinning the thing around. Turn it around is what I'm saying. Mix it up and blend that it up just like so. Turn that meat facing up. When that meat is facing up, then you want to put your obey seasoning um parsley onion powder paprika and give it a good mix and that is all it takes it's cooked in six minutes and we are done here now moving right along into the same part there but i did take out some of that flavor from the mussel and the shrimp because I do not want my sausage to have this the flavor from that right but I separate everything now I added four four tablespoons of butter a little bit of more garlic and a little bit more green season and give it a nice little mix and let everything come together right it's all right so we want to separate the, the flavor from the sausage so I went in add my sausages into that mix and the only thing I'm going to do here is give it a nice little seasoning, right? So we'll go back and the same season that you use on the shrimp and all that other good jazz, you want to sprinkle it just like you did with that on this. And this takes about six to seven minutes to cook. Now, remember Goody, that your sausage are cooked sausages. They already come cooked in a pot. So it only takes six minutes to complete here. Just add all your basic seasonings. If you want to switch it up, you go ahead and switch it up. But that is, I'm just using the same seasoning that I've been using on all the other, um, the shrimp and stuff, just to make everything fast, easy, and what simple. Toss it around here, just like I'm doing here, and we are good to go. Everything is all done and that's 
it you see how quick that was quick 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 by the time we don't do that the potatoes them done everything done just like that see that everything done everything done cook all at the same time in no time you're gonna have fast easy and simple seafood ball on your table in minutes minutes and not only is it fast easy and simple but it is filled with nothing but flavor flavor I did um, make some sauce for this seafood boil but I will make a separate video for that right but your girl did make your sauce honey it's gonna be in another video now all I'm gonna do here that look nice not true all I'm gonna do here is go in and get some um parsley and 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 paprika and just sprinkle it generously all over my seafood boil just to make it nice and pretty and I did sprinkle just a tad bit of the sauce that I made the seafood sauce and like I said before I will make another video for that I eat that over the stuff on the left side but I'm not ready for show you that yet let's go ahead and just sprinkle that thing up and we are done we are done and that is how your girl make her seafood boil I make my seafood boils different ways but this is one of the ways that I make it and my guests when I make it for events or I make it for home or I just feel like making it random make it off the chin of the chip on my head everybody always seems to love it so I'm sharing this method with you and someone asked me if they could substitute um, the Heineken for something else and the answer for that is yes I have used Malta in my seafood boils and it is delicious it gives it a nice flavor so give this recipe a try uh, um, you know share it with friends and family let them know what's going on over here send them come bring them come make sure say turn on your notification make sure say you're sharing the recipes on all your social media if you don't see what you want let me know what you want and i will be more than happy to give it now remember tell me what you like to have me cooking next in my kitchen and as always from my kitchen to your kitchen enjoy